If you're looking for some great southwestern cuisine, there are few better places to find it than Albuquerque, New Mexico. Join Vucation as we track down the best restaurants in Albuquerque. Nexus Brewery and Restaurant. If you're looking for a laid-back place to grab a beer and a bite to eat, Nexus Brewery and Restaurant is considered by many to be the preeminent place to go in Albuquerque. As the name suggests, the beer comes from its own on-site brewery. Meanwhile, the food being offered up has just as much care put into it. As compared to the majority of New Mexico eateries, which predominantly offer up southwestern fare, this place serves soul food. Some of the varied offerings you'll find include gumbo and bread pudding, but you'll also find some suspiciously southwestern offerings being served like Frito Pie. Antiquity Restaurant if you're looking for a great restaurant in Albuquerque where you can take people you want to impress, there are few better choices than Antiquity Restaurant. For both New Mexico natives and guests to the region, Antiquity offers one of the classiest dining experiences that can be had in the city. The fancy atmosphere brings with it a high price tag, but you'll be getting your money's worth with such quality meat choices as veal. Another thing that makes Antiquity so popular is its vast selection of wines with over 60 on the menu. Le Troquet Le Troquet offers the city's denizens the best chance to taste some authentic French cuisine. The atmosphere is similarly fancy to antiquity, so you won't want to come here for a cheap and easy lunch. One thing that sets La Troquet apart from other restaurants is the seasonal menu. This rotating menu allows the restaurant to feature dishes that utilize fresher ingredients than usual. Of course, the seasonal menu also makes it a little hard to know what to expect when you show up for your meal. Still, visitors to Le Troquet will always be able to count on the fresh baguettes. Seared Bistro Seared Bistro is another classy restaurant, this time with an emphasis on juicy meats served with a southwestern flair. The meat-based dishes are certainly the most popular, with the green chili steak sandwich being the item of choice. But that doesn't mean vegetarians will be left in the dark. They can enjoy the Seared Bistro's revered veggie burger. Not only is the burger plant-based, but it's also made using entirely non-GMO ingredients. Whatever your preferences are, Seared Bistro is a great Albuquerque eatery. High Noon Restaurant and Saloon Those looking for something a bit homier may prefer High Noon Restaurant and Saloon. It's been a favorite amongst Albuquerque denizens for decades, having opened its doors in 1974, and it's become known as one of the preeminent steakhouses in the New Mexican city. One of the things that makes it so great is the incorporation of wild game into the menu. Given that this is the Southwest, visitors can also expect some things on the menu that aren't traditional steakhouse fare, including margaritas and burritos. Campo at Los Poblanos Campo at Los Poblanos is an Albuquerque restaurant that prides itself on its seasonal menu and utilizes fresh ingredients. Many of those come from an on-site organic farm. As the eatery itself is located within the Greater Los Poblanos Historic Inn and Organic Farm. Campo at Los Poblanos is a restaurant that offers traditional southwestern cuisine. It's a popular spot for dinner, but it's even more bustling during the breakfast and brunch hours. The surrounding landscape provides beautiful scenery. Cocina Azul Cocina Azul is another restaurant offering up the kind of cuisine that you can only find in New Mexico. It doesn't break the bank with its southwestern dishes, which is one thing that sets it apart from the eateries we've looked at. But that doesn't mean it doesn't offer some incredible tastes for visitors. One of the most popular things to order there is the steak ranchero and eggs. Though this item is technically on the restaurant's breakfast menu, it's served all day. Mary and Tito's Cafe since 1963, Mary and Tito's Cafe has been another standout New Mexico eatery offering up traditional southwestern fare, this time with a particular emphasis on the Mexican side of things. The main item that makes it so popular is the stuffed sopapilla. Their sopapilla are stuffed to the brim, and they can make an intimidating meal in and of themselves. If you're looking for something a bit heartier, try out the pork. Sawmill Market Sawmill Market isn't technically a restaurant, but it's undeniably one of the great places in the city of Albuquerque to eat. It's sort of like a farmer's market, but it's open every day. There are numerous vendors within the market and plenty of options for fresh food. Some of the tastiest things you'll find there include waffles and poke bowls. Duran Central Pharmacy Duran Central Pharmacy is another eatery that stands out, and that's because it's nestled in the back of a historic pharmacy. As far as the restaurant goes, the food is pretty much what you'd expect given the region, and it's done well. Some of the things you'll find on the menu include enchiladas and tamales. Their tamales have become so popular, they're even sold by the dozen so visitors can take them home. Debajo Tapas y Vino If you're in Albuquerque and looking for tapas, 
You can find few better locations than Debajo Tapas y Vino. The tapas you'll find here are as authentic as can be, and you'll also find an incredibly impressive selection of wines. If you want to taste the wines and don't want to fill up on tapas, you can choose to snack on the restaurant's first-rate charcuterie board containing imported meats. Farm and Table Farm and Table is an eatery that prides itself on using local ingredients. It sources its fresh ingredients from many different local sources around New Mexico. If you want to taste southwestern cuisine that's authentic inside and out, then supporting the local community by eating at farm and table is a must. Padilla's Mexican Kitchen Padilla's Mexican Kitchen is yet another southwestern restaurant on this list offering up Mexican staples. You'll find traditional selections of tamales and enchiladas here, as well as some of the best chile rellenos in the region. It should be noted they only accept cash as payment. This is certainly something visitors will want to know beforehand, but you can rest assured that it means more profit and less fees for this local and family-owned business. The Artichoke Cafe The Artichoke Cafe serves up high-class dishes like steak tartare and duck roulettes. Of course, this is another eatery that isn't a good choice for those looking for a casual dining experience. But those with money and time to spare will find some incredible food. Frenchish Frenchish offers French cuisine, but with a more modern and family-friendly vibe. The menu is also especially accommodating towards those with special dietary needs, whether you're avoiding gluten or meat. Seasons 52 Seasons 52 also prides itself on having a seasonal menu that utilizes fresh ingredients. The word seasons in the name obviously refers to seasons, whereas 52 is the number of weeks in the average year. Besides great vegetable-based dishes, another thing you can find being served up at Seasons 52 is a vast selection of wines. And Seasons 52 always keeps 52 different wine selections on hand. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to any of these restaurants? Have you visited Albuquerque before? Let us know in the comments section below.